Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a reading for Leo. Welcome, Leos. Hope you're doing well. So this is a general reading. I'm tuning into general energies and not one person's specific energies. So take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, Leo, in the past... First, I just want to say it, you might be working through some um, core issues right now. There's a lot of um, major arcana cards already out. And so um, you might be uh, feeling some opportunity for some big shifts in your energy. So let's find out. In the past, Leo, you were in the energy of crown chakra. So crown chakra is right here, it's above your head. And it, I see it as a tuner, whatever you're thinking about, wherever your energy is focused, whatever you're thinking about, looking at, wherever your energy is directed is what you're tuning into, your crown chakra. And so when you tune into... Uh, a certain energy vibration or a mixture of vibrations that tuner informs the rest of your chakra column what you are what energies you are reading what energies you are tuning into all right so this this feels like it's around seniority um Seniority is like your agency, your um, holding ability to hold your energy despite who else is in the room or what else is going on. You are senior in the space. Yeah, okay. So what happened in the past was you were giving up your seniority you were allowing someone else to uh, maybe make more decisions to, it feels like you might've relied on their judgment, how they were seeing things that you weren't tuning into your energies and what you wanted, but more what they wanted to tune into, what they found important. Maybe you were tuning into them. and. Um, it looks like this came to an end. This came to a very painful ending with the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Swords in reverse. This is a very painful ending. So much betrayal, so much loss. I mean, it's it's the worst. Um, very painful, overkill. Um, especially since you were tuning into this person's energy, you were kind of, it feels like in a way you were living for them. You were tuning into their needs, tuning into their wants, tuning into their healing. Some of you might have been healing this connection constantly, healing this person unconsciously. Uh, it feels very unconscious that you were constantly thinking about this person. You were constantly giving them your focus, constantly giving them your energy. And it, they just, uh, this connection also feels like, well, well, you were in it before the betrayal, that there was just so much confusion because you weren't receiving anything back. It feels like you thought that I'm going to do this and then they're going to tune in and, and help me. But instead, it was very one way. And it because your tuner, because your crown chakra was tuned into them, their needs, their wants, what they needed to heal, what it was about them, then it, it created a lot of confusion and clouded judgment because you're not tuning into your own energy. 
I don't know if some of you want to hear this, but what I'm 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 getting is that the betrayal first was you betraying yourself by not owning your own tuner, but giving giving your power away. And this might have happened over time, and this might also be a family pattern of giving you know, taking care of a, maybe a parent, maybe you parented your parents or a parent. You were, um, for some of you, there might've been some pretty scary people in your family of origin. And so you were constantly tuning in to them to heal, to make yourself safe. There's a lot of, of reasons why um, you created this aspect of who you are and something really painful had to happen. So you would take back your power and start tuning into yourself. This betrayal is also so painful because this was, this is the closest person to you. This was someone that you trusted and loved and gave all of yourself to. And that is also part of the reason why this is so painful, but also so necessary, is that you were giving your power away to someone else. And maybe you didn't value your own power and your own path, your own journey. Maybe you put that into someone else. So that's in the past position, Leo. In the present energy, you are in nine of wands, spiritual strength. So you've definitely leveled up from this past situation. You're more guarded. You've created boundaries. It looks like you're tuning into as you are healing, as you are bringing back your own energy, as you are feeling more empowered, as you disconnect with this person, this person's energy more and more, and you're running your own energy, you're realizing the power that you have access to within yourself, your higher self, your divine self. that really this was a very limited type of relationship you were giving to someone who had who was kind of a black hole they could never be filled and so now as you're healing and giving to energy to yourself you're realizing how powerful you are um that you realize how worthy and valuable your energies are. And so you're creating some healthy energetic boundaries and even verbal boundaries. Like I, uh, no, I, I don't want to do this. No, I don't. Um, it feels like you're being, you're caring so much more about yourself because you recognize your value and your worth. Wow, you are focusing on your inner happiness. Hmm. I'm going to put this energy aside. Okay. Um, I'm getting that whoever you disconnected from keeps wanting to come show up in your energy. They don't like that you're tuning into yourself. They, they feel on some level, the disconnect, they feel uh, you, that you are tuning into yourself, that you are no longer giving that amazing energy that can do fiery um, knowing energy 
that you are giving that to yourself. And um, I think that's all I want to say about that. I think it's okay that they showed up in your reading, but I'm I'm not going to give them that much air time, honestly, because this reading is about making choices and, and not entertaining thoughts, not entertaining that energy, not going back, but moving forward. And now that we are in present time, there are decisions to be made. When you are emotionally charged, positive or negative, like in your emotions, it is hard to tune into your intuition. So making decisions from a grounded space. If someone wants your decision right now and you know I'm in a I'm not in a emotionally balanced place. I'm overly emotional. I'm feeling really great, so I'm ungrounded, or I'm feeling really miserable and I'm ungrounded. Or frustrate, some type of energy that's pulling you out of your intuition. There's nothing wrong with what I'm describing. It is just acknowledging and accepting that that is part of the human condition. That's part of the journey is realizing when I'm in my emotions, it is not time to make a decision. I'm not judging who I am. I came here to have a human experience and to experience intense emotions and not run from them, not hide from them. But I also know that when I'm in heavy emotions, when I'm in emotionally charged, it is not a good time for me to make decisions because then I am making a decision in the energy of emotions. It's ungrounded. And so I, you don't know where that decision is going. It's going to be very ungrounded and probably charged with emotions. Whatever emotions you're in, when you make the decision, if you make that decision um, and you're frustrated, upset, in the, maybe if you make a decision from this space, when you're really hurt and in pain, it's going to, you're going to be making a decision in through the lens of this instead of um, a knowledgeable, clear decision. Wow, there's a lot about decisions and decision making that's been coming up in the collective this past week. So very interesting. All right. So your higher self, Leo, is in the energy of authority or stability, the emperor. There's no gender in tarot, but there's some type of your higher self is saying, let's, let's be in emperor mode. You've been through so much. The emperor has been through all four suits of uh, king of swords, king of pentacles, king of wands, and king of swords, pentacles, wands. Wand I'm missing something. What am I missing? Pentacles, swords, wands, cups. Interesting. I kept missing cups, king of cups energy. That's interesting. We'll see if that comes up in your reading. But you've been through, to be in, in emperor mode, you have to go through and really embody the lessons of those kings to get to an emperor status. The emperor is the authority, it's the boss. This energy is not someone who gives away their seniority to others. This is about someone who their energy is the most senior energy in the room. 
they hold their energy as important. They know their energy is important. They know there's a structure to uh, how they do things. Yeah, there's an end of a cycle of giving your energy away, of tuning into others, of giving yourself away. I mean, there's always compromise and giving and taking and receiving. I'm talking about a chronic giving, a chronic overgiving, a chronic oversharing. Not, I mean, when you're in need, people give. When they're in need, you give. That, I'm not talking about that type of give and take. I'm talking about giving all of who you are to a connection, to a person. That's completed. Your the the story is ending. That cycle is closing. You've learned all that you're going to learn from it. You're arriving in a new space as that emperor, as the person seen, most senior in the room. feels like it's giving you a lot more confidence. It feels more natural to focus on your energy. Feels like you're you're not depending on how others view you. You're tuning into more of how you're feeling about yourself. That's really what's important is how I feel about myself at the end of the day. When my head hits the pillow, am I happy about who I was that day? How I showed up? All right. Uh, your challenge right now, Leo, is temptation. The devil. All right. He's looking back. His his view is is shifted and he, he's looking he's looking back there's something about your challenges to not be tempted to look back not be tempted by this energy whether it's this person or this type of energy that wants to keep you small that wants to keep you small, keep you playing it safe. Being tempted by someone who is domineering and controlling, someone who is stubborn and a tyrant, you're showing up as emperor upright and this temptation emperor energy, this temptation energy is showing up as the emperor in reverse. Also a temptation would be to, when you're in an emperor status, it is just an energy that you're are running at that moment or deciding to run. It is not about your ego. It is not about building up your ego. Because the emperor wants, an emperor upright can hear, can be checked, wants correct information, even if it's negative about them or how they're perceiving things. They want to, they want the truth of situation. They want people who can freely see things from their perspective and inform them on what's going on. It's not about never being wrong and not accepting anybody else's energies as well. It is about, it's not about building your ego and I'm an emperor and I'm not listening to anything out that comes from an insecurity. Emperor mode is feel being senior in your space and allowing voices, allowing people to be themselves so you can have the clearest view of what's going on and then 
making a decision with all the information coming in. It's not about being rigid or domineering or controlling others. Some of you, I get the feeling like you haven't had a lot of emperors in the upright to emulate that type of energy. So it feels like the challenge is to step into your power and also notice what is you and what is your ego and, and not shift switching from an in, unempowered place into an ego place where you're, you're allowing your ego to take control. And when ego's more in control, then it's really, um, it feels insecure. They might, people who are in their egos might seem or come off or portray themselves as confident and as emperor, but it's an act. They're really fearful of any comment or any energy that comes in that, that paints them any way that they can't, that they don't perceive or want to be perceived. And that's not what we're getting at. And a, a true emperor can allow for others to have opinions. They need it. They need people to speak truthfully their perspectives so they can make a really informed decision. So it's not about controlling the truth and not wanting to hear the truth, even if it makes you feel cruddy. It's about surrounding yourself with people who feel comfortable with telling you what they're seeing, even if that means you you get checked. Wow. All right, Leo, that's your reading. I hope this was helpful. Take care. Bye.